Happy July 9th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and party witnessed the arrest of a lizard smith, a smith who is a lizard, not a smith who smiths lizards. The guards told us he was operating illicitly using a forged guild crest, and they said if we uncover the source of the fake crests, we might obtain a handsome reward from Hark Hornclaw, the Lord of Saberhold. We questioned some folks and found nothing unusual in the way of quality or demand for goods. And we have a lead. A young bear smith has just moved in and she would have gotten her crest recently. And I believe we're off to question her. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. The bustling artisan district is crowded with shop owners, smiths, and local artisans. While the general atmosphere seems tense due to the recent arrests, there's a palpable undercurrent of unease about the counterfeit Guildcrest issue. Talk to the artisans you find. I am looking for hidden icons, and uh, this is a really busy page. <laughs> I would not be surprised if the, oh, yep, okay, there is a, there is a pickpocket icon, and it's been a while, I think the way I handle this is, uh, rather than pickpocketing, uh, Disco just wanders off into the crowd, and he, we roll to see what he gets here, um, let's see, Sunday Lottery, back, right here it is, pickpocket, uh, on a result of four, roll d4, gain that much amber. Gosh, it has been a while, I think. Okay, two. Disco comes back with two amber. Um, on a result of four, you lose a virtue point, but uh, unless you return the money. So, Disco finds two amber. We don't know where he got it. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> so, we're up to 20 amber. Okay, and let's see... Talk to the artisans you find. A young, there's a number of them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight artisans we're going to talk to. And they are all charisma rolls, um, which isn't great for, oh no, we do have a plus two charisma. That's not terrible. We also have plus two from yesterday. We did so well <clears throat> uh, that we got a bonus there. So we're getting plus four on all these rolls. A young rabbit woodworker named Flint might answer your questions. Roll d20 plus charisma. 14 plus 4 is 18. That's the best result. My father was a woodworker before me, and he imparted his knowledge before passing away. I got my crest recently, and I earned it the hard way. I proved my worth in a test of skill. Rot Ward Scale, the guild's leader himself, handed it to me. I don't take kindly to those undermining our work as artisans. Best of luck in uncovering the culprit behind this. Okay. All right. Uh, second, an elderly bunny might share her opinion with you. D20 plus charisma. Uh, 10 plus force 14. That's the best result. We artisans stand united, she says. I've been here longer than most, and everyone I know earned their guild crests through hard work and quality craftsmanship. We are hard workers and have the right to be in the guild. No one I know possesses a fake guild crest. To me, this situation smells like a scheme to divide us. My suspicion, those insects are somehow involved. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> they don't strike me as craftsmen. Uh, okay. A beaver examines some wood for a shield project. D20 plus charisma, 15 plus 4 is 19. We are rolling great. Best result. I suspect an artisan is involved. I'd wager that a jeweler is crafting those fake crests. Who else could create such precise guild symbols well enough to fool everyone? Okay. Fourth. Uh, a young bear. This might be who we were sent to find. Tortoise. Older scribe font. Yeah, I think this is this is our lead. Seven plus four is eleven. That's the best result. Having just moved from Long Watch, uh, she says, I'm unaware of this counterfeit guild crest issue. 
No one approached me for a fake. I got mine from Rot Ward scale like I was supposed to. The market is crowded with artisans. Perhaps we don't need more. Not sure why the Guildmaster issued so many, but I'm glad for mine. Okay, <laughs> this is feeling like a whole lot of nothing. A wise tortoise weaves chainmail while talking with you. Charisma, 18. That's the best result. This issue surged recently in Saberhold, following the news from Crown Spire. Don't expect success to come easily. Authorities have been investigating this for a while, and they've had no luck. I'm not sure why you think you'll do any better. How about you try your luck with joining a guild? You might catch the eye of the counterfeiter. Maybe they will approach you. Okay, that's not a bad idea. Uh, an older scribe is test. We got three left. An older scribe is testing some new inks and might share their thoughts. Uh, Charisma fourteen plus four. Best result again. I'm the elder among the artisans, and my crest was earned long ago. The process hasn't changed much, I hear. You meet with the guildmaster for a test of skill. Rot Ward Scale is the guildmaster now. He'll have you make something to prove your skill. You pay some dues and get your crest. Okay. Last but not least, a fox is hammering out what looks to become a large sword when done. 16? Okay. Best result. I'm swamped. Busy with orders for the garrison. Since the insect attack on Crown Spire, everyone's arming up in case they come here. The city's in a frenzy and I can't keep up. I need to get back to work. Okay. Okay, finally, a crow meticulously crafts. I rolled <laughs> prematurely. It's 14. That's going to be the best result. Okay, crow meticulously crafts arrow fletchings. Uh, the last artisan, says the crow, arrested for a counterfeit guild crest was a fletcher. His arrows were decent, but not up to my quality. Arrows failing in battle could mean death. Glad he got caught. Told me he got his crest from the guildmaster, like the rest of us. I guess he lied. I hope you catch the one responsible for these fakes. Okay. Um, I think all we got out of that was the idea to uh, to uh, join a guild and get our own. And maybe the uh, counterfeiter will approach us. Maybe that's where we're headed. And that, my friends, is July 9th, so we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.